everybody, it's Kaylee. I am here with another thrift haul. I'm going to be showing you some items that I picked up this past week to flip online on sites like eBay and Poshmark to make a little bit of money. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kaylee. I'm an online reseller. I find used clothing at thrift stores and I flip them online for a profit. My channel is about teaching other people to resell and make money online. All the links that I mentioned in the video are down below in the description. You can click on the link tree down below and it will pop up my eBay and Poshmark closet if you're interested in viewing. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or you just want to say hi. You can also send me a message over on Instagram. If you like this reseller content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when I make new videos. Let's jump into today's video. All right, so I've got a mixture of men's and women's, so good variety here. We're just going to jump right in. This one is by Tommy Bahama. This is the logo. And here's how you spell it. Now, the reason I don't have a tag is because this is a reversible men's quarter zip sweater. So this can be turned inside out and either worn like this with the heather blue showing or with the bright purple on the inside. These things used to sell for quite a bit of money um, and they're still pretty sought after, but the resale value has gone down. So even though it is going to be a quick flip, I'll probably only get um, about 25 to 30 for this. And kind of along the same lines as this, which is Polo by Ralph Lauren, size extra large. I used to get a solid $35 for these cotton quarter zips. Um, now, again, still sought after, but I'll probably only get about $25. This one I might get closer to 30 just because it's got a pattern on it with the black and white stripe. But we'll see. I'm definitely not expecting $35 anymore. But like I said, there's still a good following for this. Another polo by Ralph Lauren men's sweater. This one is just a really pretty baby blue heathered. Got the logo. Again, about $25. This is by Hollister. Size small. I don't pick up Hollister a lot. I have to like really be specific and pick up key pieces to make sure that they're going to sell. But these are a pair of women's camo joggers. Joggers are a really popular style right now because they make you look a little bit more dressed up, but they're very, very comfy. And they're kind of flattering too because most of the time they are high-waisted. This one has a little drawstring here too. And camo in jogger pants is really trendy. This was probably my favorite find this week. This is by Torrid, and it's the exclusive collection um, for the TV series Outlander. I don't know if you guys have watched that show. I'm only a couple seasons in because I'm cheap and I refuse to pay for um, the ones that aren't already free on the streaming sites that I watch. So I'm only a few seasons in and I want to finish it, but I love that show. So this is a size 3, which in Torrid is a size 3X. Every piece in this collection is meant to look, you know, as the aesthetic from the show. This is a beautiful women's double-breasted belted tan trench coat. Really excellent condition. Got it vented uh, in the back. Actually, it's not in excellent condition. I just noticed a little pin mark. I'll just note that this should still sell for a lot. It's also got the tartan plaid lining. So when I did my research on these, these are very rare. And the ones that I saw even pre-owned were going for well over $100. So even with that little mark, I still think I'll be able to sell this for over $100, especially because it is a size 3X. This is by Pendleton. Pendleton is really well known for their wool pieces. This is a wool cardigan. This is a women's size small, and it's a really um, classic green and blue. Uh, is that called argyle? I think it is. The diamond print here. And this should be a quick flip. These Pendleton cardigans seem to be doing well. This is a brand I just learned about. It's called For Cynthia size large. Every piece that I've come across has been linen. Now I'm certainly not picking up every single P 
piece by this brand because I don't know a whole lot about it yet, but I couldn't pass up this red, very bright red dress. So this is 100% linen. It's got front pockets and all in all has that log and look vibe that a lot of people are seeking after. This is a women's coat by the brand Steinbach. This just looks like an expensive brand in my opinion. And this is a boiled wool, I'm going to call it a coat. I, I don't want to say sweater because it's extremely thick and very well made. And the buttons have a lot of detail and branding on it. And a heathered gray. I really like the structure of this. And in the past, coats like this have done very, very well for me. I'm going to look up a bit more about this brand, but from what I saw, I'm going to get a good profit on this one. This is by Lucky Brand. So this is an older label, but it, this is 100% silk and it's the lightest sheer top. So this is giving me um, kind of Edwardian vibes, which I'll probably put in my description. Um, very flowy, very boho. I just thought this was really gorgeous. I need to do more research because I think I'm going to price up just because of the style, but I thought this was a good find. Here's a brand I don't pick up until fall and winter usually. This is Banana Republic. This is a men's size small and this is 100% merino wool. And this is like a sweater jacket in a really pretty midnight blue color with the contrast brown buttons and ribbing detail. Front flat pockets, ribbing all along the back. Um, I love substantial pieces like this by Banana Republic. Another men's piece, this is by Kuji, a brand I've had very, very good luck with, but usually when I pick up Kuji, it's a vintage, loud, multicolor sweater or dress or something like that. So this is very toned down for me as far as uh, Kuji goes. It's got some branding here. It needs lint rolled, obviously, but this is a black uh, wool bomber jacket and it's kind of got that like military style too. So I'll probably put military in the title. From what I saw, um, these black wool jackets can go for quite a bit of money. Here's a brand I've been picking up a lot of. This is by Torrid. It's a size uh, five, which is a pretty big size size 5x I believe. This is missing its drawstring but nonetheless I still wanted to pick it up. It is a hoodie and it is skull print and in the past for me Torrid skull print anything flips really quickly. I've had quite a few of the skull print uh, sheer tops that have done very well. This is by Wrangler and this is a men's denim jacket. Wrangler for me is kind of up there with Levi's. It doesn't go for as much as Levi's does, but a lot of their stuff is sought after um, as far as denim goes. So this is a men's denim trucker jacket. I'll be sure I'm putting all those keywords in the title. Full button, flat pockets, really great condition. And these denim jackets by this brand are doing pretty well. This brand, I believe, is sold at Urban Outfitters. If it's not Urban Outfitters, it's Anthropology, but I'm pretty sure it's Urban Outfitters. It's Ecote. This is a women's size small, and this is a very flowy, sleeveless, bohemian tunic top. Definitely out of season, but I really like the style and the brand, so I am going to get it listed. This is a brand that has similar styles to Anthropology, but contrary to what I said in a previous video, this is not sold at Anthropology. I heard another reseller say that, and I also see other people using it in their listings, and that's, I guess, kind of why I thought it was from Anthropology, but it's actually not. A viewer corrected me, so thank you for that. Um, but the brand is Altered State, and they are their own brand. And they sell really cute bohemian clothing. I basically like everything that they make. This is a really cute long sleeve top with some um, embroidered roses. And I really like the color of this. It's got that peplum break, which is really flattering. Really cute top. This is by Vineyard Vines. I don't frequently find Vineyard Vines 
women's size medium where it's not heavily embroidered with a whale logo or the vineyard vine spell out. So I was surprised to find this. This is what I think is a linen off shoulder top, very neutral color. I think it'll do well based on style and brand. This is by Eddie Bauer, kind of another brand I pick up more so towards the end of the year. This is a women's size extra large. I like picking up the more substantial pieces, particularly when they have the Nordic Fair Isle print, which this one does. This was really popular last year, so I'm thinking it will be popular again this year. And when it's in a larger size, it tends to flip very, very well. Sorry, guys, I'm going fast because we have a lot here. So this is Silver Jeans. This is the Suki Surplus. And this is a size 30 by 32. I've said this in a lot of videos, but if you find silver jeans, pretty much anything, any size, you should probably just pick it up. They flip very consistently. So this is a thick stitch detail jean, dark wash, got some stone washing, and then some flap back pockets with that classic S. Here's something that won't sell for a lot, but has quite a bit of following. This is an Under Armour men's loose fit pullover. This Threadborn, I think, is a line off of them, but I've sold the loose fit pullovers by Under Armour in the past. The men's do very, very well. This is like a heathered, actually, it's kind of got like a herringbone purple. I always make sure there's an obvious logo on all the athletic brands because that's what people are looking for. And it's just a lightweight men's active pullover. This is another altered state piece, size medium. These are a pair of women's wide leg vertical stripe pants. These feel like a linen blend, but I'm not gonna pull out the material tag. These are a very interesting color. They've kind of got like a stone gray with a blue and then the tie here. So I would consider these to be a paper bag wide leg pant. Wide leg paper bag being the tie waist right here. This is a Madewell women's size medium denim shirt. This is a very like bleached light wash color. And it's very interesting. So I think, I'm not sure if that came with it. It's got an anchor on it. I'm not sure if that came with it or not. I think somebody replaced it, but either way, I'm going to sell it. This is interesting because it has the um, kind of like a moto style collar right here where it comes across. I'm going to photograph it open, but I thought that was just an interesting detail. This is the brand Soft Surroundings. This is one, as long as the um, style numbers are in the inside. I will be able to look up and quickly find the style name. I haven't done that yet. This is a women's size large and this is a tie dye top. I can already tell this is going to photograph very well and tie dye is really in right now. Some of the soft surroundings, if they're a more rare piece, can go for crazy amounts of money. This is by J. Jill. This is definitely an older J. Jill tag and I did look up corduroy shirts in J. Jill, which this is. This is kind of like a shirt jacket. It's a little in that like medium weight. Full button, really interesting baby blue, sky blue color. And from what I saw, these corduroy shirts by J. Jill, the vintage ones are doing pretty well and they're sought after. And last item is just a vintage boyfriend style American Eagle women's flannel size medium. I thought the plaid colors on this were really pretty with the vibrant red and blue. Probably only 20 to 25 bucks on this, but these flip very, very quickly. All right, guys, so that is the end of today's haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Drop a comment down below and let me know what brands you are finding this week. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.